This video is designed to show you how to diagnose when a solenoid appears not to be working. The solenoid is located on top of the valve assembly on the Haldex full functioning valve and can be remote mounted with the valve. You will see both these configurations on a 4S2M system. You can also see the remote mount solenoid on a 2S1M system. Please note that you're going to see the solenoids removed from the valve assembly in the training video. You don't have to remove the solenoid to do these checks. The solenoid was only removed for the training purposes of this video. Currently you'll see that there are two different types of solenoids on the market. The old style was out prior to 2009. The new solenoid came out in and is being used on anything newer than 2009. You can tell the two apart by the terminal pin setup. The old style pins have a triangle pattern, while the newer solenoid has a backward L shape to the terminal pins as seen in these pictures. We'll take a look at both solenoids and how to check them. Please note that the readings on these solenoids are different from the old style to the new style. Let's start by testing the old style solenoid first. This will be the most used solenoid prior to 2009. We will begin by checking the common and hold pins on the solenoid. The spec should be within 3.5 and 4.5 ohms. Next, we'll check the hold and dump pins on the solenoid. The reading should be between 7 and 9 ohms. The final check will be on the common and dump pins of the solenoid. The reading should be within 3.5 and 4.5 ohms. If after performing any of these pin checks and the solenoid readings were outside of the specific range, then the solenoid is not working properly and you should replace the valve assembly. We'll now look at the new style solenoid. With these checks, you'll be able to see the difference from the old style solenoid with the pin placement. We'll begin our first check with the dump to common pins. The reading should be within 3.5 to 4.5 ohms. We'll now check the common to hold pins. The reading should be within 3.5 to 4.5 ohms. The final check will be on the hold and dump pins. The reading should fall between 7 and 9 ohms. If any readings fall outside their range, then the solenoid is not working properly and you should replace the valve assembly. All this information can be found in the Haldex Installation Slash Service Guide L30041 for future reference. This manual can be found at haldex.com. For more information, visit haldex.com.